This is what you need to know about Oktoberfest. Sure, it's the biggest folk festival in the world and has been held here in Munich, Germany for over 200 years. But what makes it special? Why is it in September? And what should you definitely not do here? I've been to the Oktoberfest multiple times since moving from the US to Germany, and I've learned a lot about it. So let me answer some of your burning questions. And help you avoid some classic mistakes, but more on that later. But Oktoberfest, or Wiesen as the locals call it, is so much more than that. Essentially, Oktoberfest is a huge two-week festival featuring 17 big and 21 small beer tents. There are thrilling rides, carnival games, and long-standing traditions. Some more unique than others. to help you understand how big Oktoberfest really is. The festival grounds span a massive 34.5 hectares, or about 48 football fields, and around 6 million people visit each year. Last year, those visitors drank 5.6 million mugs of beer. They ate 177 full oxen and lost 420 smartphones. Chat with the people around you in the beer tent, and you could probably meet someone from every corner of the world. So I just met Amanda, who flew all the way here from Florida. Amanda, why did you come to the Oktoberfest? I've never been to Oktoberfest before. It's been on my bucket list since as long as I can remember. And um, I'm a flight attendant, so I get the benefits. So I just hopped on over to visit my friends. I met the most amazing people. Everyone is so friendly here. It's like the best experience I've ever had. But Oktoberfest is not only popular with tourists. Lots of locals come and even refer to it as the fifth season. The first Oktoberfest was held in October of 1810 and actually had nothing to do with beer. It was the celebration of the wedding of Prince Ludwig of Bavaria to Princess Theresa of Saxony Hildburghausen. The royal couple invited all of Munich to celebrate with a horse race and all the free food and drinks they could want. All held on this very fair ground known as Theresienswiese or Theresa's Meadow. Everyone enjoyed it so much they decided to celebrate again, year after year, adding in the beer and eventually developing into the fair we see today. Great question. Turns out the answer is simple, German practicality. After the success of the early editions, the festival was later extended to add more and more fun activities. So it just made sense to start the festival in September and enjoy the warmer weather longer. Don't order a stein here. The big, almost one liter beer mug you get in the tents is called a Moss. The proper way to drink it is to hold it by the handle, clink it with your friends and say, Pulst. Don't forget to look each other in the eyes. Interestingly, only beer brewed in Munich by one of the six legacy breweries is allowed to be served here at the festival. So you're definitely getting the real thing no matter which tent you're in. Lots of people walk into the beer tents and think, where's the bar? But actually the tents are table service only, so you need to be sitting down to be served. You can either reserve online or arrive early and try your luck to find a spot. But if your party is small, you can usually just ask someone to join their table. The tents, which are really more like big beer halls, are elaborate and even beautiful. It's almost hard to believe they're built anew on the fairgrounds each year, and each has its own atmosphere and vibe. Tents like Schottenhammel and Löwenbräu are known for their younger crowds, attracting both locals and tourists. If you're looking for something a bit more chill and family-friendly, the Ochsenbraterei, or Augustiner Festhalle, is it. And if you want to experience the Oktoberfest of yesteryear, the Eurewiesen section costs only four euros extra and is quite nostalgic. you will see locals and tourists alike dressed up in dirndls and lederhosen. Some more authentic than others. 
traditional dress has seen a big revival with recent generations. But do Bavarians mind tourists wearing it too? Also, wenn die Tracht gut ist, dann finde ich es schon, schon in Ordnung. Wenn sie so eine scheiß Tracht ist von Amazon, dann ist es blöd. Aber am besten ist immer noch, wenn es aus Bayern ist. I love it. Seeing everyone in Tracht is just, yeah, what Oktoberfest is, right? Auf dem Oktoberfest tragt jeder Tracht. Was ich aber nicht ganz richtig finde. Es ist schon ein Unterschied, ob ich aus der Gegend komme und eine Tracht trage, so wie ich, oder ob jemand, ich habe da gestern einen Bericht gesehen, da 20 Leute aus Neuseeland kommen und genauso ausschauen wie ich. A proper Dirndl or later housing can cost you hundreds of euros. But my hot tip? Check the secondhand stores or rent your outfit. Just don't come in a Halloween costume. There are a few other things to avoid if you want to enjoy yourself here. Don't try to stand and chug your beer. Some tents hate this so much you'll actually get thrown out. Don't dance on the tables. That's what the benches are for. Don't try to bring in your suitcase. Large bags are not allowed, but there are paid storage areas. Don't forget your cash. In most tents, the servers don't take card. And don't find yourself on the grassy hill. It's called the Kotzhugel or Vomit Hill for a reason. Trust me. But all in all, Oktoberfest is definitely still something for your bucket list. Got any other questions? Leave them in the comments below. Sind wir drauf?